Okay, how's it going everybody? So back with another video and I know it's been at least probably like two or two and a half weeks since I uploaded that last one. Um, there's really no excuses for that. It's just kind of me trying to plan out what I want to do with my 240 because it's, it's not idling uh, the best right now. So I'm still just trying to figure that whole ordeal out and I'm probably going to take it to a, like a tuning or a tuner and just get like some things figured out with that as well. So just haven't really had any parts to make videos about and just kind of been working and just doing you know things here and there uh, but other than that um, I just wanted to make a video about my truck just because it has uh, this brand new hood so that's why you're watching this video is it's about my truck so this is an HD hood off of a 2000 uh, Chevrolet 2500 HD and pretty much I've been looking for one of these hoods like since I've probably owned the truck literally like that was like one of the first things I wanted to do just because ultimately it looks way better like way better than the OEM stock 1500 hoods they just look way better just because it, it's a lot more bulkier you can see like on the stock hoods you can see like this is where it would end and instead with the HD hoods it comes up like as a hump and then over and then hump down again and then it's a lot bigger on the face right here I'm not gonna be making uh, like I'm not gonna be making pretty much uh, installation video just because it's already installed and the reason for that was when I went and bought it I met a guy over in Tempe uh, Arizona and we like we were taking the hood off of my truck and then we were taking the hood off of his and I was like well if I'm already gonna be if I'm already here I might as well just already install it I already had all the tools the guy was there he kind of already knew how to put these in and get right fitment so I kind of just wanted to do it uh, but I will I will show you this so for these hoods since this is a factory hood it does have really good fitment on the sides because here let me show you because you can see right here I mean there is a little bit of a gap but it's it's pretty dang close to this side as well I mean it's nothing too bad like going all the way here, it's pretty even along the whole you know stretch of the hood on each side. You know they're they're pretty much the same. Um, but other than that, it's it's pretty much solid. I mean, like it even even it matches right here to the fender along the whole headlight to the grill, and even right here too. It is a little bit out right here, and I think that's just more or less me finagling with it a little bit more. Um, but I'm gonna show you. I really, I mean, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there on uh, HD hoods. There's a lot of them, and there's a lot of installation videos. But kind of one thing that I haven't really like found with these like with these videos is just kind of like a little bit more in depth. You know, I've seen videos of them just installing the hood and then showing you how to like uh, kind of <clears throat> fit it up. But I just wanted to show you or tell you this. So on these hoods, it has these three bolts right here on each side, and that's pretty much how you take the hood off and put it on. And then when you leave these loose, you pretty much on each side, I think it goes, it's the same rule for almost any hood. If when you have, when you have a hood or have this hood or any um, silver auto hood, when you have these loose, that's kind of how you uh, mess with the, the fitment. You pretty much kind of have to just push it either back and forth, you know, side to side, forward, back, kind of might maybe have to bend the actual uh, uh, hood prop. But other than that, I mean, they're pretty easy. It fits really well, and I'm gonna say this, it fits really well because it's an OEM hood. It's not a Chinese um, or really cheap aftermarket brand. So if you are if you have one of my trucks, and if, or if you have one of these trucks, definitely, just definitely be patient with it. Because yeah, you can buy a Chinese hood and you know they they look almost they replicate you know the factory ones but they don't fit as well and I know they're really hard to find because I've owned this truck for almost I think three years now and I've been three years later I finally found one you know I've been I've had I've, I think at least three other chances to buy one I just didn't get uh, the chance to actually go to the seller and you know meet him and then actually buy the hood because I was all I was just busy I was doing things and the the convenience of time wasn't there so definitely when I first saw this one uh, I picked it up and 
if any of you are kind of wondering, okay, so what's questions you might have? What, like, how much did you pay for it? Well, for this one, I paid about two eighty or two hundred eighty dollars, and you may think that's a lot of money, but it's actually really not because one, this is an OEM hood. It has no dings. It has. It's completely straight. There's nothing wrong with it. Literally, the only con to it is it's blue. My truck's black, and it has sun fade, which isn't a big deal because I'm going to be pretty much repainting the whole truck. So that that didn't really matter to me. Um, but other than that, you know, it's pretty much straight. It's there's nothing wrong with it. And if you find one that has, you know, dings or dents, and if you're going to buy an OEM one, I would definitely tell the seller, you know, be like, hey man, if you're if you're selling this for this amount of money, you know, I'm going to have to do the body work. So can you like cut down the price? You know, that's maybe something that you want to do for years, but I didn't need, I didn't have that uh, struggle. So definitely pick mine up. Um, actually, I don't know if it was 280. I think it was 300. Um, but that's definitely a solid price because if you're paying a cheap, you know, unless the person you, unless it's someone you know, and they're giving you a fair price, by all means do it. But you know, if, if you're paying, you know, maybe a hundred or a little bit over that, Definitely, definitely do some <laughs> diagnosing on the hood. Make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Make sure it's an OEM one. And you know, from I don't know really too much information on the OEM hoods, but one thing I do definitely know is that you know they come with this like heat absorption or absorption pad. You know that's kind of standard with any Chevrolet hood or any hood in general. I'm pretty sure is they have this like heat absorber hat pad. <clears throat> And another thing is it had, you know, a spot for the light right here and they also had the spot for the stud or where you, you know, just mount your light and your harness and everything. So it's kind of one of those things where uh, I can definitely tell right off the bat, like, yeah, this is only the, this guy's not trying to cheat me out. So this isn't an installation video because, again, the hood was already installed. I didn't have the camera out and that's my fault, but I kind of just wanted to give you more in depth on just what to look out for if you're interested in one of these hoods. And if you are, you know, wanting to do this, so, and I think the next step for me, because um, what I want to do ultimately is have this hood and then have the grill. So I'm still searching for a grill. So if any of you that are watching me have a grill and you're in the Phoenix, Arizona area, hit me up. Uh, my Instagram is Ian Soli underscore. So definitely shoot me a DM on there. Um, that's kind of probably the best way to get a hold of me, unless you want to comment in the video. That's another good way. Uh, but yeah, you know, if you have if you have an HD grill, definitely, definitely hit me up because I will pay for that. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I mean, that's kind of the that's kind of the update on the truck. There's there's really not much done to it. Like since the last video, I kind of did a more in depth video on what my truck already has. Uh, and, you know, it just has the hood, and then I tinted it. That's kind of the difference. It's got fresh new tint. It's got the hood. Everything else is pretty much pretty much the same. <laughs> Um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, um, do your research. Definitely, uh, definitely be patient with what you're doing, and be patient when finding a hood. Um, it was totally worth it for me, and it'll be totally worth it. It's this is not supposed to be a long. This is isn't supposed to be a long video, but kind of informational and just kind of for something you guys to watch and for me, for me something to make. Uh, but that's kind of it. So yeah, if you have one of these trucks. I definitely recommend doing the conversion just because it looks freaking McNasty. Uh, but yeah. Um, and if you if you are in the Phoenix, Arizona area and you you know you have the grill, hit me up. And if you have one of these hoods and you're having trouble with you know trying to get it to fit up right, you can definitely um, shoot me a message or or anything. And I'm always I'm always open to helping everybody. Um, but that's about it. So thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for commenting and I do want to actually give a shout out for so actually on my last video some guy uh, or new I shouldn't say a guy some subscriber um, sent me a message and uh, said that he really likes my truck and he sees the my my advertised sticker on the side of my truck with my YouTube channel and he he said he liked my truck but he's not really a Chevy person but more in a Titan he burned his on Titan which is awesome I really appreciate that for you um, appreciate you for, uh, for shouting me out, so that's awesome. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. Uh, again, Instagram is ansoli underscore, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.